everyone. So, look what I have. I got my order from Hobonichi. I ordered it on the day that they um, opened the website for uh, ordering, September 1st, and I finally got it today. So, let's go ahead and open the box. It's a nice brick, kind of a red color. So, um, I will be honest, I did not order a lot of covers this time. I don't know, I was a little disappointed with the selection that they had this year, or rather this season for covers. Um, they had, a, I, I thought they had better stuff last year, but you know, that's okay because I did order a lot of covers last year and in the spring. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, I only got one. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the first thing we have here is obviously the cover on cover, um, which is really nice. I do love it. I did get it in an A5. So let me do it this way. I'm going to take every, everything out and put it to the side. Okay, that way makes it easier because I'm shooting with a new lens which I purchased um, with some birthday Amazon cards um, I purchased a, a 22 millimeter um, lens for my m50 um, my Canon n50 m50 sorry so um, it's a wide angle and I don't have to worry about you know zooming it's easy because I just it's prime it's set so um, this is the first time I'm using it to film a video. So let's see how it turns out. So yeah, so I did get the cover on cover. And then we got two pens here, which I'm surprised. I didn't realize I was going to get two. I was thinking I was going to get one. So this year's, it's kind of interesting because they went with a lot of dark colors this year for some of the covers. So the pens are a brown and blue. Okay, kind of go with the cover on cover. Um, looks like that I got, I was able to get the bag. So this will fit like the A5, you know, um, which is really nice. I'm glad I was able to get that. So we have another cover on cover here. This is for the A6. Okay. I like that it's, you know, the constellations, as you can see. So I got that. I got another A5 cover on cover. I always get these because, you know, I have multiple covers and it's always good to have backups. So... Um, I don't want to take off one and then put it on another. I would rather keep them, you know, if I've used a cover, it's going to keep the cover that it's got. So we got that. We have, I did order, I believe I ordered two. Yeah, I ordered two A6 cover on covers because I do have some plain ones and I don't have a lot of these covers. So I just wanted to have that for future use. So this is the cover that I chose for this year. This year, I am going with the A6, well, or rather next year I'm going with the A6. I've done A5 for the last two years, and while it's great, um, I found I wasn't using up a lot of the space as I thought I was going to. So I'm going to try using the A6 and see how that goes. I do like to put a lot of pictures in there, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to really limit myself to just either one or two pictures on a page. That way, anything else, I will just do it in the, um, you know, in like my, you could say, quote unquote, supplemental like these, the Hobonichi papers. So I really love this cover. Anything that's like Tokyo, Japan related, I'm going to snap it up. So it is dark, but I don't care. I, this is so beautiful. I may, um, you know, order again, like a plain cover, but for now, you know, I'm going to stick with this. So as I said, I did get the Hobonichi papers because I do have I do have a couple of other um, A6 covers and I didn't realize that they were this thick. It was cheaper to order from Hobonichi this year because of the amazing exchange rate right now with the yen. I, I, I wish we could go and visit Japan because our money would go a lot longer. So these end up being $3, I think, on the website versus like if you're ordering this here in the US, they're charging like maybe $10 or even more, which is kind of ridiculous. So I save more money 
or ordering directly from Hobonichi. And if you're thinking about ordering Hobonichi, honestly, you're better off just ordering it from the website directly and not locally here in the U.S. You'll just save more money that way. I mean, um, yeah, you'll get it faster, but then, like I said, there, you know, most of the places that you're going to order, you're not going to get the cover. You know, like if let's say you're only wanting the cover, you're not going to be able to find that because most places want you to buy the cover with the planner, which is, you know, kind of ridiculous if you ask me, because if you're only wanting a five, yeah, you're stuck with an a five planner. So as you can see here, there's an illustration on the page. I did not realize that, but that's okay because I still like it. Um, I don't care if I cover over the, the illustration. Um, because, you know, yeah, but the paper is so nice. I'm really glad I, I ordered two instead of just one. Um, so, oh, I hate it when I do this. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to put it back in the plastic. <laughs> I'm usually one that has to put it back in the plastic, but not this time. Okay, so here is the planner that I got. This is the 2023 and I got the English one. This is the first year that they've done English, I think. Is it just for A6 or A5? I can't remember which, but um, yeah. I like that they're, uh, the packaging, the way that they did it. It's really nice. So let's open this up. Um, try not to tear it too much. I want to put it back in there so that it'll be ready for me to set up the beginning of the year. Okay, so obviously you get this. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a, they sent some um, Tomo uh, River paper because it's going to be in the 2024 um, edition. So, hmm, it's interesting. So yeah, it's so weird. It's so small compared to the A5, but um, wow, I'm gonna have to write small. <laughs> it's so strange for me to have to, you know, to do A6, uh, but it, the portability is gonna be nice, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes this year. I mean, you know, if not, then I always can, can order the 2023. A5. And then the last thing that I did get, and this is why, I got the um, A5, the day free. Um, this is my first time doing the day free, so I wanted to try that because like I said, if I feel like I want to do more pictures for a day, then I was thinking I would just do it in the day free because obviously more space. So um, maybe that's why I got two pens because I ordered day free and the A6. Aww. That's okay. So, oh, okay. So this is what it's like. Well, that's not too bad. Maybe um, next year, or maybe in the spring. I don't know. We'll see. I'll order instead of one. I'll order two. But I don't know. It's 2023. It's kind of strange that if it's day free, why do they still have to put the year? Who knows. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. I gotta figure out which of the uh, covers from either last year or the spring I'm gonna use. I think I know which one I'm gonna use. Okay, so here are the accessories that I ordered. So the first time, well, no, it's not the first time, but I ordered actually a lot of pencil boards. It's kind of funny. So for one thing, I did get the rail um, railroad or railway map. Now, um, Whenever Japan's going to open up again to tourism, no, it's it, even though they say they are, they're not. Um, I do plan on going back to visit, and I thought this would be really cute to keep in the A6, you know, to have to be able to refer to. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, it is all in Japanese, but as long as you know the line colors, you know what they stand for, then that shouldn't be too bad, but still. I mean, Google Translate's always handy, you know? <laughs> so I just like maps and I thought this would be really cute to keep in the, uh, the A6. I mean, I don't care. It was like, what, maybe three bucks, something like that. 
It's cute. So I did get that one. Um, I got some A6 um, pencil boards. So I did not get the Aristocrats cover. I'm, I'm not that big of a Disney fan, but I thought this was really cute. So I get the, I did get that. And then also I really liked the cover. I forgot what it's called, the, the one with the elephant, but um, I didn't want that as a cover either. So I just got just the pencil boards so I can use that. And then this one was adorable. This is the A5 one. I love this one. So that's why I got it. And that's it. That is what I got for um, this year's Hobonichi purchase. Um, did you guys order anything? And if you did, let me know what you ordered. I'm just curious to see um, and hear what you guys thought about the selection for this year. Were you excited? Were you a little disappointed? You know, I mean, yeah. Like I said, I was just, you know, a little disappointed in the selection, but it is what it is. You know, that just means that I'm saving more money by not spending more money on covers. You know what I mean? All right then. So I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been busy and then lazy about filming. I have so much stuff that I need to film, but I just, and I actually have a video I just never published. It was, a, uh, it was one of the Art Atelier, um, boxes. I filmed it, but I haven't even post, I haven't even edited it yet. And this is back when I just got back from Chicago or before I went to Chicago. I can't remember which, but either way, hope you guys are having a great week and have a good weekend. All right. Bye-bye.